can you actually get stronger from body weight training alone? What's up ladies, my name is Brie Ogletree. If you don't already know who I am, I am a Philadelphia-based personal trainer as well as online coach for women. I teach women how to strength train to get leaner, um, get stronger, and feel better in their bodies. So can you actually get stronger just doing body weight workouts? Um, the answer is actually, it depends. Um, it depends on your fitness level, it depends on the types of workouts that you're actually doing, um, and it depends on whether or not you're actually progressing those workouts. So let's look at fitness level for a second. If somebody is just beginning strength training and they've never done structured strength training before, body weight workouts are definitely going to make you stronger. Um, your body's not used to the training, so learning how to manipulate your body in a variety of different ways, um, squats, uh, push-ups, pull-ups, or variations of those are definitely gonna get you stronger if you are a beginner. So what about if you are an intermediate to advanced um, lifter, meaning that you have some experience um, with weight training, you've maybe followed a couple of programs before, would you actually get stronger just doing body weight training? Um, the answer is you might get stronger in a couple of different exercises, like let's say the pull-up, for example. Um, you could definitely still work that into your training because that is technique that is a body weight exercise. Um, and you could get stronger by doing more reps or by getting your first pull-up, definitely. Um, but in terms of like exercises like the squat, the deadlift, um, you're definitely probably gonna see some strength uh, declines because you were um, you were actually doing strength training. You were lifting something heavier than your body weight beforehand. Um, so you're actually decreasing the demand on your body um, by just doing body weight workouts. But with that, I will say there are some very challenging body weight um, exercises that are going to be more for intermediate to advanced lifters. Um, so I, I, like I just mentioned, the pull up, that's definitely more of an advanced intermediate to advanced um, exercise if you're a beginner to to strength training you you most likely don't have a pull-up just yet um, but if you're an intermediate to advanced um, exerciser you probably have a pull-up there's also more advanced exercises like a single leg squat or um, a squat off of a box um, or advanced variations of a push-up or pull-up um, as well as different hanging exercises like um, leg raises leg holds stuff like that um, there's definitely some more challenging um, variations of basic body weight exercises uh, that intermediate to advanced lifters can do to still either maintain their strength or um, build their strength in that specific exercise. So if you are just looking to do um, body weight exercises, whether you're a beginner or you're an intermediate to advanced lifter, um, you definitely wanna keep in mind progression with your program. Um, so just like with strength training, with traditional um, weights, dumbbells, barbells, stuff like that, you wanna make sure your program progresses over time so that your body is not adapting to the training and you're still seeing um, some strength gains and adaptations to the actual training. With body weight training, this could be doing more reps of a certain exercise. It could be taking less rest between um, sets. It could be um, slowing down the movement. So using that eccentric, so fighting gravity, slowing that down three to five seconds um, just to make more, to have more time under tension. Um, it could also mean doing a more advanced variation of that specific exercise, like I was just saying. Um, so if you were doing, let's say you were doing a push-up, for example, um, maybe doing a decline push-up where you have your feet elevated on something um, instead of doing a regular push-up on the floor. That's a way to make that exercise a little bit more difficult. Can you get leaner doing just body weight workouts? So you can definitely drop some body fat or, um, or lose weight by just doing body weight workouts um, because the other important factor of um, that specific goal is gonna be your nutrition and what you actually are eating throughout the day. Um, so with body fat loss or with weight loss, you definitely wanna be in a caloric deficit and exercising regularly, even if it's just body weight workouts, is gonna help you stay in that caloric deficit. 
Again, with your workouts, you just want to make sure that you are progressing them week to week um, by using or manipulating one of the variables I just talked about um, in order to keep your body from adapting to the training and experiencing a plateau. Um, so it's definitely important to make sure that you continue to challenge your body during your body weight workouts um, and just progressively make them harder over time. So what body weight exercises should you actually be incorporating into your body weight program if that's the type of training that you want to do? So this is going to depend. It's going to depend on your fitness level, uh, but generally the movement patterns are going to be the same. You definitely want to have some type of squat variation in there, um, whether if you're a beginner, that could be a box squat or a chair squat, just uh, squatting to a chair. Uh, if you are more of an advanced lifter, it could be a squat off a box. It could be a single leg squat, um, some type of squat variation. You definitely also want to have some type of push up variation. Um, so, so for pushing strength and that, like I said, if you're a beginner, you can have a modified type push up that can be more of um, an incline push up. So you're doing a push up on an inclined surface, or if you are an advanced lifter, it could be a decline push up. Another exercise that you want to do is some type of upper body pull. So for a beginner, this might be like a bed sheet row or a TRX row. Um, if you are more of an advanced lifter, this is going to be probably some type of pull up variation. Next thing you're going to want to have is some type of hip hinge type movement. Um, because we're not using external weight, we, we're not going to be able to deadlift. Um, but there's definitely different types of glute bridges that you can do, different variations depending on if you are um, a beginner or an advanced lifter. And finally, you want to do some type of core training. Um, there's tons of body weight core training exercises, but you just want to make sure that you're hitting a variety of different types of core training exercises. The rest of this video is going to be um, some of those exercises I just discussed with you. Um, I'm going to show them in a progression from beginner to advanced. Um, the different, different variations that you can do to incorporate into your body weight training.
this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you did find this helpful, please like my video, um, comment below what your favorite part of this video was, or if you have questions about anything that I talked about. Um, and please also subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your notifications so you know that um, when I upload my next video. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.